this end is Buena Vista. The big world building is the courthouse. You are here, oh. the museum. Mm -hmm. We had three different railroads in Buena Vista for about 40 years, from the 1880s until the 1920s. And now we have one railroad and no trains. Are you guys hoping for that to change? I don't know. Depends what they're going to do with it. Yeah. <laughs> There's a, a, a couple of different groups that are would love to have a tourist train coming through here, an excursion train. Mm -hmm. um, but the tracks are owned by Union Pacific, and they're not interested in that. They're freight. When was this model built? They a club built it. They started it about 1982. It took them about eight years to build it. So it's, what, approaching 25. It's very cool. Mm -hmm. and they figured since they were putting it in the historic courthouse that they better make it historic. <laughs> so they went and found photographs of buildings that have long burned down and, and rebuilt them, constructed them. And and buildings that still exist and built them. And, mm -hmm. Do you know how long it took to build it? About eight years. About eight years to build it and the rest of its time to fix it. This is a model train, therefore it breaks a lot. Oh, there's a tramway. Mm -hmm. That is cool. That's the tram up above St. Elmo. There was a gold mine up there the Mary Murphy mine, and that's how they got the ore down from the mine. The mine shaft was above the railroad by like a quarter mile. So they put the ore in, and the weight of the ore carried the buckets down, and the empties back up, and that's yeah. how they moved the ore. Where is this roundhouse in real um, life? This was in Salida. Mm -hmm. um, they had, actually had two roundhouses in Salida. Um, they had, the Rio Grande ended up putting their big switching yard down there. So they had two roundhouses, one for narrow gauge, one for standard gauge, and the turntables and miles of rail and um, the, the duo gauge, the whole front yard was in the duo gauge track, which that way they could run either size train through the yards. And they did. The, um, the main line, well it was all narrow gauge originally, and then about 1890-ish, they made the main line here through the valley be standard gauge just by simply adding the third rail. Oh, wow. But they still had the trains going to um, Durango and Silverton, the, that line and the Humbers and Toltec line. Yep, yep. That came out of Salida. Oh, wow. It's, it's the same loop. Although I've been on the Cumbres and Toltec, which is a beautiful ride. Mm -hmm. Well, the, the narrow gauge switching yard was in Salida for it. Wow. Well, thank you.